All right, so we've got that video that we rendered out in the first tutorial, and now we want to, or at least what most people want to do, what I want to do, is add some music to it. So how do we do that? Let's go over to Cinelera, and it's really quite easy. And I went ahead and defined our project, the resolution and the aspect ratio, and even <coughs> saved it as an XML file already because we've already gone over that. We don't need to go over that stuff again, do we? No. Uh, let's go over here. We've got our soundtrack and we've got our project, our video project that we want to do. So we're going to go back here, make sure we are home at the start position. We're going to right click on our project and we're just going to paste it into the timeline because it's ready to go. But nothing happens. Why does nothing happen? That is because the tracks aren't enabled. So we weren't able to make changes to them. So enable our video one, audio one, audio two. Right click on it. Paste. Boom. There we go. Now then, here's our music. Let's pop it up into the preview window. And you see the preview is black because there is no video to this. <laughs> and we're going to hit play. And I'm going to turn my volume down a little bit so that you guys don't get blasted out. And you'll see we have a problem right off the bat. That's okay. We can take that down. We just have to be aware of it. I think I want to start that right around where he says I, so. There we go. And our video goes to like 46 seconds, so let's give ourselves a minute of roll here. We're at 14, let's go to just like 1 minute 14. A minute 12 is close enough. Let's put our out point. And now. We do not want to mess with the video. We do not want to mess with the audio on the pre-rendered track. So let's go down here. We want to add two tracks for the new audio. So what we're going to do here is go to audio and add track. Audio, add track. And now we've got audio three and four and they're armed and they're ready to go. Now we know it's already too loud, so let's just take the liberty of cranking this down a little bit. And I've already felt this out, so <laughs> I kind of know where it needs to go. And you'll see when I'm rolling my uh, mouse here, it's affecting both sliders because Gang Faders is enabled. Okay. So we've got our selection. Let's splice it. And let's do a little cleanup here because it's probably not starting exactly where we want it to start. Okay. I wanted to start where he says I. So let's see. And I'm going to need to fine tune that a little bit more. So let's go down here. We're set to view eight seconds at a time. Let's change that to like one second. And if we're looking, that looks like probably where he says I right here. So let's move to within the nearest frame of that and see if that's it. Yep. So we are going to click. That's fine enough. See, it's not going exactly where I'm clicking because we're dealing with frames here too. And Cinelera is automatically saying, well, the frame starts here, so let's synchronize everything. You don't have to worry about all that calculating stuff. So let's move all the way to the left. And let's ignore this window because it doesn't really like the MP3 that I have for some reason. You can just click those windows down. Hit X. And if you look up here, because these tracks aren't enabled, only this track moves. Now if we wanted a minute of silence there, we could hit M and that would mute it. And that leaves everything in place, but we don't want that. We want it to just start here. There we go. 
Uh oh. One more thing I noticed here is that even though by itself the volume is fine on our clip, it actually goes over. <laughs> no, that's a sound thing. What happens is you get two frequencies that are the same and they're going to add 3 dB onto each other when they combine and you're going to end up with the signal that goes over. So let's move this back to get a better view at 8 seconds. So we're actually going to need to drag the, uh, the volume down a little bit on our project. No big deal. We want to go down here, disable audio 3 and 4 because those are sweet. Go to audio 1 and 2 and enable those. And again, faders are ganged. I'm going to use my scroll wheel to crank this down to like 2, negative 2. And let's see how we did. All right, we did it. <laughs> and we have added the audio. Now we're gonna go down here because what I really want to do is I really want the music to fade out. And I really want it to fade out about the time goes to Aiden talking on the phone. Somewhere in here, let's see where we, yeah, let's start fading as the heart wipe comes up. Okay, now we're going to get into an intermediate thing here called keyframes. Don't let keyframes intimidate you. All a keyframe really is, is uh, just like in, in uh, automation doing a mix down in the studio, if you've ever done any studio work, or if you haven't, uh, what you're doing is you are recording what the fader is doing. Let's arm the tracks that we're working with. Now what you can do, you want to go up here and enable keyframes. This is going to record all your tweaks. Only do this when you want to record a tweak and then undo it as quickly as you finish recording the tweak because you can do all kinds of crazy stuff to your project if you leave this unintentionally on. So we're going to do that. <coughs> now you've probably seen people, oh click this and do this to fit here and click this here and you can move these. Well you can do a little bit of tweaking that way but the easiest way for you to do keyframes is just to think about it as recording what your fader or you know your settings are doing. So what we're going to do here is here's where we want to start the fade. I'm going to bump my faders down a little bit bump it back up so that it uh, make sure to record my little notch here at 5 and then I'm going to find the place where I want this to be totally out and when he starts talking and we can see he's talking there because of that so here's where we want it to be down. So we're going to once again go over here and start moving our fader down. And you can tell when the curve hits a flat line and starts going up that this is where the volume is pretty much going to be out. You don't have to worry about dragging it all the way down. Negative 40 dB is probably good for you. There. Now we're done adding our keyframes. We are going to uncheck generate keyframes. We're going to take the rest of this clip, say right about there, all the way out to the end, and get rid of it because we don't need it. X, it's gone. And we are left with a fade out that does this. And the thing about that is you can even do it in uh, your videos, but I will do a separate tutorial on manual fades. Don't want to lay too much on you right now. But yeah, keyframes are a really powerful editing tool. So we just added a soundtrack to our uh, movie. <laughs> That's all there was to it. You just put it in and you don't even have to do the fade if you don't want to. Uh, so that's it. I'll render this out, stick it on the end of the tutorial, and uh, hey, add some music to things. Let's see what you can do. 
have fun and see you for the next one.